Hello, and welcome to Studio 22. I'm Bailey Chandra. Today we have Tulsa Community College's very own Die Laughing Improv Troupe, and they will be talking to us about how to improv as well as perform for us. So don't change the channel because you don't want to miss all the fun and excitement here on Studio 22. Stay tuned. Hello, and welcome back to Studio 22. I'm here with Jonah Fujikawa. How you doing, man? Great, how are you? Doing pretty good, awesome. doing pretty good. So you were a part of the improv troupe called Die Laughing over in Tulsa Community College, correct? That is correct, I am. And uh, you brought your troupe here too as well? Yes, we brought about five of us all together, and they are amazing, some right. of the best improvers. Wow, wow. Uh, can you tell us, uh, how, how does one like get into an improv troupe? You have to go through auditions, correct? There is auditions for sure. Uh, one of the games actually we'll be playing today is the most common improv game for auditions, which is Switch. And that is basically the foundation of all uh, improv to where you build up from Switch to where it's all about doing different scenes on a split of a second. So, so there is like a foundation to improv, right? There is indeed, definitely. It's, it's not just like you go on and do a thing. You'd... There's actually rules to there improv. Rules. There is. Do you, do you mind like explaining some of those rules? Like what, 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 what you have to go through in order to complete an improv show? Yeah, definitely. Well, the most important rule, and this is without a doubt the most important, always say yes. No matter what. So in improv, anything can happen. Anything at all. And sometimes it'll be just out of your mind. And you have to say yes, no matter what. Because it, the audience doesn't like it when you say no. It's not funny, because you're, you're denying someone the opportunity to actually make a scene. But by saying yes, even if it's very awkward or an inopportune moment, it is amazing. The audience will actually absolutely love it. So would you say that like you nailing something on, on, on the show is better than actually being funny? Was, would you say that? like? I think no matter what, if you do say yes, sometimes it probably doesn't have to be funny, to be honest. As long as you actually do a scene, and you, actually, you can make it go along. Is, would, would you say that it's tough to improv, or do you think anyone can learn it? it I think anybody can try to learn it for sure. It does take a special talent. I gotta be honest, for me, improv is the most scariest thing I've ever done in my life. I will, I will freak out every time I do a show because an improv, you never know what's going to happen at all. While if you're acting, you have a script the entire time and you're able to study and learn and you're prepared. But improv is just all on a whim. And so I, it will freak me out. But you just have to go in there with an open mind and by saying yes. And then also saying and. You also add on to the scene and so you, you can make it even grow more and even better. Oh, wow. Do you, do you involve the audience at like any point? Definitely. Audience, that's a great uh, part of improv, is that audience participation is one of the best. So a lot of times, and plus another game we'll be playing today is called Hitchhiker, well, we'll ask the audience for suggestions. Um, sometimes it'll be for celebrities, sometimes occupations. And sometimes we'll bring audience members onto the stage and involve them into the games. And so it's, it's so much funny because the audience members, they're not theater trained at all usually. They don't have any form of uh, background of improv. And so by putting people who have no idea what to do with professional improvers is perfect. All right, thank you. Uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break real quick. And stay tuned because you're going to want to see the improv that they're about to do. The Stars in retreat. The shot goes up. Devasone comes out of nowhere. And another block for OCU. This guy's on fire. This kid owns OCU's record in blocks, not only on the court, but off the court as well. Earlier today, he was busy crashing the boards. Just a rebounding machine. 
even cleaning up the glass, giving a whole new meaning to garbage time. Demosthene, MVP on the court and keeping Oklahoma beautiful off the court. Hey, Oklahoma, do your part and help keep Oklahoma beautiful. This is our land. This is our pride. Our roadways that we travel, our lakes and parks One, that we love. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. It's not okay. This is Oklahoma, our land, our pride, and we must take care of it. So do your part and help keep Oklahoma beautiful. Hello, welcome back. Really sorry about that. We were having some issues with our mics. But anyway, anyway about improv. So you were telling us that it, it has some level of audience participation, right? Yes. Do you mind uh, rephrasing it, uh, telling us again, just for the people who yeah, didn't definitely. get to hear? So uh, a lot of the games will ask for suggestions from the audience because you can't just do an improv game by yourself. That wouldn't be improv. It's, the reason why it is improv is you have no idea what the audience is going to suggest. And so you have to do whatever they say. They'll give you a celebrity maybe, or they'll give you a task, and you just go with the flow. Um, also, what's also fun is that uh, bringing audience members into the actual game. So we'll play games where, you know, audience members, they don't have any theater background at all or any improv usually. And so by having people who don't have any idea what they're doing, it's awesome to see them with professional improvers because it makes it even more funnier because they don't know what they're doing as well. Do you, do you ever have like audience members that will just like flat out reject you guys and say, oh, yeah. no, I don't want to? Of course, yeah, <laughs> definitely. There's people who definitely are introverts at heart, and it's just it's hard for them to go on stage and perform. Um, but sometimes with a little bit of coasting, you're able to get them onto the stage. And so you just have to, you have to know your audience. That's what it's all about. You have to choose the audience members, because sometimes we'll look in the audience and be like, I think they'll, they'll come up here and play. Man, that's, that's really interesting. Well, we're going to take a quick commercial break here, and uh, when we come back, we're going to see you perform some improv for us. All right. So stay tuned, guys. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> People don't think it's easy to be green. Audrey does it every day. Turn off appliances when they're not being used. Shut off the lights when you leave a room. Always recycle paper. Recycle plastic, too. Today, Audrey did her part in helping OCU conserve. It's that easy. Have you done the same? Visit okcu.edu slash bluegoesgreen for more information. Hey Oklahoma, do your part and help keep Oklahoma beautiful. This is our land, this is our pride, our roadways that we travel, our lakes and parks that we love, our businesses that we build, our communities that we create. And that's why littering is not okay. This is Oklahoma, our land, our pride, and we must take care of it. So do your part and help keep Oklahoma beautiful.
OCU is that open shot to a winning goal. Countless rehearsals for one flawless routine. Learning to serve before trying to lead. Learning a language everyone can understand. OCU is me. 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 I'm OCU. Hey, welcome back. Oh, I'm here with the improv troupe, Die Laughing. And uh, we're gonna play a quick game for you guys. And, but first we're gonna introduce everyone one by one. Uh, your name please. My name is Bailey. I'm Troy Cope. I'm Jasmine. Emily. And of course we have Jonah Fujikawa. <laughs> now Jonah, uh, you're explaining this game, correct? Yes, definitely. So today we're gonna play a game called Hitchhiker. It's one of the best improv games and actually one of our favorites. Bailey here is gonna be a driver. And usually you pick up, you know, hitchhikers on the way. But we're going to be a little bit different hitchhikers. We're going to be like famous celebrities, maybe some objects, different people that will have suggestions from the crowd. And so Bailey will be going outside and won't hear anything that's being said. Bailey, as the driver of, for Hitchhiker, will have to come in. And one by one, we're going to come in as that celebrity or that object. And Bailey will have to guess who we are. And we cannot leave until she gets it right. And so we are able to do different clues. And all we could do is just not say what we are. But we could definitely lead her to the way. And so, um, Bailey, if you don't mind going outside now, we're going to get our suggestions. So in order, uh, can we get a celebrity uh, from the crowd for Troy? Uh, any celebrity? Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. OK, we got Miley Cyrus. Jasmine, can we get a celebrity for her? Any celebrity? Could it be like anything? Like anything. It could be anything you want. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Perfect. For Emily, can we get like an object or a location? A TV. TV. Excellent. For Bailey, can we also get an object or a location? Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Okay. And, uh, can we get a celebrity or a, a famous person? Al Pacino. Al Pacino? Okay. Great. So we're going to go one by one. Okay. Uh, Bailey, can. Uh, should I go out and get her? Uh, yes, please. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> All right, so Bailey, what will you be driving today? Thinking a school bus. School bus? Excellent school choice. Bus. All right, let's do this. All right. Oh, sorry, I just hit you with my wrecking ball. I'm so sorry about that. I, am, I apologize. Can I get in your car, please? Yeah, go for it. Go for it, Miley Cyrus. Oh. You know, actually, maybe you can just get out of here. <laughs> I will. <laughs> can I beat it in your uh, school bus? Michael Jackson. <laughs> Jesus, get out of here. Oh, I'm surprised you could fit me all in here. Yeah? Yeah, I'm a pretty, I'm pretty big. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, tell me about yourself. Uh, well, you see, uh, I'm a place. Uh, you know, a lot of people uh, are in me. Uh, <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, uh, mainly, like, you know, in regards to, like, presidents and okay. stuff like that. So like the White House? Well, well, I'm more of like a. You're getting close. Okay, all right. More of like a like a city, you know? Oh, Washington D.C. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's it's right over there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> hey, hey. Hi. Come on in. Yeah. Come on. Can you help me? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna. Okay. We're just. <laughs> <laughs> Thank all you. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, so what do you, where you needing to go? Oh, you know, a house. A house. Just uh -huh. any house. Okay. I'm I'm an electronic device. Okay, right. <laughs> so what kind of what kind of stuff do you do? Uh, people watch channels. Oh, uh, so like on me a TV. 
I am. Yeah. 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 You just can't. I think this is your house right here, right? Oh, yeah, it is actually. Yeah, can you help me out? Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. You pick me up, pick. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, thank All right. you. Yeah, definitely. Have those channels. Oh, all right. Ooh, uh, wow. Uh, can I get a ride? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, you need help? Oh, uh, yeah. Can you uh, escort me in? Yeah, yeah, come on. All right. Yep. Great. You can't see or anything, no? Nah, it's one of my most known roles in a movie. Uh-huh. Wow! Ooh! Man, they call me a sense of a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> so what, uh, have you done any other movies? Oh gosh, yeah. I've done The Godfather. One, two, and three. Oh, yeah, yeah. Great films, great films. Definitely. <laughs> so you're an actor? I am. Yeah. Very famous, yeah. I'm uh, very close friends with Robert De Niro as well. Hey, your first name's Al? That's right! Ooh, uh, Gino? Al Pacino. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Dang. I Great. can't believe you're here. Do, do you need to go or anything? Yes, please. Can you show yeah. me out? Yeah, definitely. You wanna all right. Up? All right. Let's all go this way. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That was one of the many games that TCC's Die Laughing Improv Troupe plays. Uh, we're going to play another game real quick. Uh, who's teaching this I'll one? teach it. Get out of here, Charles. So the na next game we're going to play is called Switch, and as Jonas specified at the beginning, it's the foundation of improv. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have Bailey come out here, and I'm going to have Jonah come out here and mold him into any kind of physical position, something crazy and wild and goofy. All right, there we go. And what Jonah's going to do is he's going to come in, attach in two different places, and he's going to bring up who they are, what they're doing, what their relationship is, and all within the first line of dialogue. When, and when the next person in line feels like they're ready, to freeze it and to tag it out and continue the scene, they will do so. All right, and Jenna, whenever you're ready. Okay. Okay, now Jimmy, the food goes in your mouth, not oh, on your shirt, okay? I'm sorry, it, Daddy. It's okay, just put the food in your mouth, okay? It's all right, okay? Now, how do you feel? Are you a big boy? You feel I, good? I'm so full. Right, you're gonna grow big and strong now, Please. okay? Okay, come on. This this store is really huge. I'm so lost. We yeah. need to. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see. Mom. 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 Hey. Um. Let's see. Let's, what was she last? I, I, I don't. I don't know. Maybe we can. She likes buying expensive I, stuff. Uh, she never pays anything for us. Mom. Mom. I, oh my gosh. Mom. Okay. Let's see. Let's think. Think back. Think back. Now. In the Matrix, you've got a lot of slow motion going on here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So I know this is a class, so I want to see what you can do out here. Okay. Okay. So teach me what you can do in like the Matrix. So we're. So pretend. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> And this is what we call the Tai Chi. <laughs> All right. Now let us now go into the drop pony. <laughs> Good job. This this is this stretching out your hamstrings oh, very well. Yeah. Oh, let's that's feel perfect. It right okay. here. Now let's go right into there. a different pony position. Okay. We're just gonna. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. There it is. Mom, I'm trying to tell you, I'm not that flexible. Okay, I'm a guy. You're clearly a woman, and you're much more flexible than I am, Mom. Okay. <laughs> I can't do this. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jerry. I didn't mean to do that to you. I'm sorry. Can we go to the movies, please? Yes. Yeah, sure. Can you drive me? Yeah. Hey, okay, cool. We want to see. I don't know, Jimmy. Jerry, what do you want to go see? I want to go see Star Wars. What? A Rogue One. Please. Freeze. I love Star Wars. And here today we have a very nice interview of Troy Cope. Troy <laughs> Cope, uh, I heard uh, you play in the movie Star Wars. Is that correct? I do. I am uh, Han Solo. No yes, way. Yes, I, I got cast as the young Han Solo in the new movie upcoming next year. Oh my god, guys, I'm cut, very cut, excited. cut. Okay, let's call on. Come on, Mom. Great. Are you the son of Jerry? Yes, I am. I'm the son of Jerry. Oh, my gosh. Jerry, 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 Jerry. 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 This is so magnificent. I this love all this crazy. attention. Oh, my gosh. I love it so you much. You finally get to understand who your family is. I oh know. My gosh. They actually are. Now, I'm telling you, uh, if you just propose, this wouldn't have to happen, all right, but bud? Okay, okay, listen, listen. But, okay. I just need you to ask me to marry you, okay? okay. It's been Jennifer, five years. I okay. just, I. 
Jennifer, I just don't like you in that particular way. Please, come on. I, I skinned my knee and uh, I don't okay, know what happened. Please. This is a very nice sculpture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you guys so much. Uh, that this is Die Laughing in Pump Troop, and they've done so many, so many uh, things like that. Um, and we're gonna take a quick commercial break, real quick, and then we'll be right back for some more interview with Jonah Fujikawa. Thank you guys. Stay tuned. Thank you. Stars in retreat. The shot goes up. Devasane comes out of nowhere and another block for OCU. This guy's on fire. This kid owns OCU's record in blocks, not only on the court, but off the court as well. Earlier today, he was busy crashing the boards. Just a rebounding machine. Even cleaning up the glass, giving a whole new meaning to garbage time. Devasane, MVP on the court and keeping Oklahoma beautiful off the court. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, as, you, as you saw, that was an improv game that Tulsa Community College's improv troupe does. Uh, Jonah, can you please tell me, is that a game that you guys play a lot, or is it just like a warm-up game? Or uh, Switch, for sure, is our warm-up game. Uh, it's not usually done in a show, but it is very, that's why it's the foundation. It gets you warmed up for the show. Hitchhiker, though, almost without a doubt, every show it will be played in, because it is such a fun crowd-pleaser and the audience loves giving suggestions, and they love seeing you get it right away. People will think that we are, you know, magic, because uh, as you saw Bailey, the very first two people that came to the, the Hitchhiker, she got right away. It was like three seconds, and she knew right away. And it's because of how much practice we put into improv, where we are able to know different people, and uh, we all know each other so well now that we'll do, do improv games pretty easily. I, I understand that you told me uh, earlier that when you get suggestions from the audience that you sometimes don't know them, correct? That's right. Well, what do you do in those situations if you get like, if you get like a person that you yeah. have no idea who that is, what do you do in that situation? So, yeah, well, there's three options, basically. If you're lucky, for instance, I was number five. So let's say I didn't know Al Pacino. I would have time to maybe look it up as fast as I can on my phone. Just get some rough draft of who this person is. The second option is hopefully somebody else in line knows who they are and they can give you just a quick uh, briefing of that person as well. And the third one is you got to wean it. You just got to go in there and guess. One thing that we'll do, we didn't have to do it today, but sometimes if the person doesn't know, if they can't guess it right, you break down the word 
in a way. So you'll take different words that are associated with it or maybe certain letters from the name and somehow they'll put two to two together to get the right answer. Wow, let's, let's, let's say that uh, everyone in the car doesn't know the person <laughs> that you're trying to guess. Like, would there be like some sort of like, I don't know, like maybe like an outside force telling you something or like are you maybe like doing hand signs? Like, hey, this is... <laughs> There is one awesome thing where somebody who knows everything about just everything, about culture and celebrities, they can act as a cop. And so what will happen is somebody from the outside uh, that's in our improv troupe will be a police officer and pull over the person who's driving. And that person will be able to give hints because they'll hopefully, obviously know uh, who the person is as well. And that will eventually get the right answer from that. Wow, that's, that's insane. Is there like a favorite game that you like? Is Switch your favorite or? Um, my per oh, one of my personal favorites is Gibberish Murder. Gibberish Murder? I love Gibberish Murder. Do you want me to explain it? Like yes, please, okay, so Gibberish please. Murder, it is, it is fast paced and intense. You'll have five people line up and you'll get a location, an occupation, and a weapon. So they abbreviate it as low. Uh, location, occupation, weapon. You have to guess location, occupation, weapon, but it has to be all in gib gibberish language. You cannot say a single word that makes sense. So you will run in, and the first person has a minute for each uh, location, occupation, weapon to get it down and to guess it right. If it goes to 45 seconds, 30 seconds, 20 seconds, and 10 seconds, and you will come in fast paced with gibberish just trying to guess. Wow. That is insane. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Definitely. And thank, thank you, you guys us. for watching here on Studio 22. Good day. There's the Astro.